My name is Dale Jacobson and I'm a chiropractor here in Nevada City and I've been practicing for approximately 30 years and for 30 years I've been trying to interest my patients in organic foods and with heavy emphasis on particularly raw milk products, particularly fermented milks, yogurts, kefirs, clabberds, cottage cheeses, things in that realm. Press it through a very small seam. Yeah, and they, uh, you can see the, the pressure here. Pressure is how much? Alright, now it's at about 10. We mostly put it up all the way to 200. 200 bar. Yes, yes. And. Okay, almost. 300 bar, and then it comes out here. Yeah. Okay. There's other factors with milk too that aren't um, necessarily bacteria related and one of those, one of the hazards of milk now is homogenization right. and if you wanted to talk a little bit about homogenization and what that yeah. leads to. Homogenization was developed to basically integrate uh, butterfat into the milk so that you couldn't tell the butterfat level. Initially it was to get rid of the competition between the, the milk supply that coming to the back step so that the housewife would look outside and go, who's got more butterfat in the milk because that's the one I want. They destroyed that competitive process by delivering a milk that you don't have to worry about the butterfat anymore because it's all assimilated, it's homogeneously put into it. But the way that you get rid of that butterfat cell, which is a beautiful floaty, soft, like marshmallow looking, a wonderful sphere of this butterfat that floats. Uh, is to send it through a high pressure collision with a stainless steel plate at about five to six thousand pounds per square inch, which obliterates it into little smithereens. It's no longer even recognized by your body. It becomes an allergenic, stick in every crevice, can't be digested, it releases antioxidants, it does all kinds of weird things that your body doesn't know what to do with it. And you get all kinds of disease process out of that. I mean, I'm sure you could talk about how the placking process or assimilation to digestion process is completely messed up, but it is not a normal process. Homogenization also was able to integrate things in like dried powdered milks and vitamin A and vitamin D and all these weird things that were missing from milk after pasteurization. Though with homogenization, you could put it all back in there and nobody would know the difference. It was the way to fool, mother, you know, to fool the man so you didn't have all these weird things that were coming out of solution with fake milk. Yeah. You could cram it all together and make it fit, make it fit together. When in fact, it shouldn't have ever had any of that. Homogenization is a choice made by man. It's not something that's required for food safety or anything else. It's more of a marketing commercialization tool than it was ever for food safety if pasteurization is an excuse for food safety. Yeah. So pretty interesting little. And I might touch on the, one of the biggest hazards of homogenizations too. Um, it's my understanding that the xanthine oxidase, and I'm no chemist, um, is made unrecognizable when you homogenize a milk because the, normally it would be on the outside of the milk molecule where the body's immune system would recognize it and, and detoxify it, but when you homogenize, you make smaller particles, the xanthine oxidase is then within the cell itself, it's no longer on the surface, so the body doesn't recognize it, accepts it. It can then go through the artery wall as if it were a regular fat or whatever. And that then sets up the irritation of the artery lining, which then creates the inflammatory response, which gives the response of placking and right. LDL cholesterol. So the homogenization of milk actually is a huge factor in the causing of heart disease. So mm -hmm. it's, it's above and beyond just the cosmetic value of not looking at ugly cream floating to the top, but it's actually an incredible hazard to artery tissue. So yeah. I always recommend people to do a whole milk only and no homogenization. Right, Because right. it's actually more dangerous than the pasteurization itself. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's horrible. It, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> and it, it's, it's adding a complexity that's just completely unnecessary. Yes. For any commercial purpose uh, outside of, you know, it doesn't do anything to shelf life. It just, it's a disaster. Yeah.